Well, one of the main attractions at Gloucester Park on Thursday evening this week will be the uh, appearance of the wonderful four-year-old mare, Cot Beach. She's running in the last event, and uh, her trainer, Christy Elson, must be delighted with the way she's come back after a nine-month absence. Yeah, she's done a really good job. She's come back nicely, so you can never be too sure when they've had such a long break, but she's done a good job. And, like, uh, she's drawn one on Friday night, and uh, she'll be a short-priced favourite. Um, no special instructions, I should imagine, for, for Nathan Turvey because of her 14 wins, Christy, she's led in nine of those. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good up front. Um, she used to go up front when she was younger all the time and then we tried to sit her up because we had a bit of problems with her. But, yeah, she's that's definitely her go-to is up front. So hopefully she should just lead and, fingers crossed, <laughs> hopefully she'll be OK. <laughs> well, she's got many strings to her bow because her three runs since uh, resuming from a spell, she's really uh, shown her ability by unwinding strong finishing bursts. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, as I said, like she can do. She's got both in her. Like she's a really good horse, and she always tries. She like she'll try from wherever she is. So, yeah, always have faith in her. <laughs> now, as a two-year-old, uh, she was outstanding. She won three group events. She ran second in the Golden Slipper to a brilliant colt in Jack Mack. Um, do you think she's going to get back to that brilliant two-year-old form? Um, I think she can. I'm, I don't think she's 100% at the moment, but I definitely, like, she's working terrific at home. I definitely think that she will get back there. It's just, she, as you say, she's only had a couple of runs under her belt and she's had so much time off. But I think she definitely will get back to what, or racing better than what she was then, hopefully. Christy, I suppose one of your main aims is to get her ready for the big uh, Group 1 Mayor's Classic at Christmas time. Uh, yeah, hopefully. I think we've got a few things sort of um, set for her, but hopefully if all goes to plan, like we just sort of try and take it week by week to see, keep her happy and see how she's going. But yeah, she seems she seems to be fine. So yeah. One of Cot Beach's uh, classic wins was the Champagne Classic, and at Gloucester Park on Tuesday uh, tonight, tonight, you've landed a uh, Quinella with two wonderful two-year-olds, and they look as though they'll be set for the Champagne Classic. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, hopefully they'll both go all right. I've got another one in on Monday, um, Telk Tate, hoping to try and get him sort of there, but not sure if he's quite ready yet. But yeah, I've got a few handy two-year-olds at the moment. It's nice. Well, of these runners, like uh, Jasper Bella Beach led and won decisively, but what a great run by your second string uh, secret operator. Came from last with a withering yeah. burst to run second. Yeah, he's a great little racehorse. Um, he won last oh, Saturday week ago at Narragin, but, yeah, he comes from behind as well. Like, he, he just does a really good job. He'll do, like, he's the same. He just tries every time. He's got quick little legs. <laughs> Who's the better of the two of them? Jasper's my favourite, but yeah, I think, I don't know, J um, I think Jasper, but he's, <laughs> he's sort of my number one at the moment, so, but they're both, they're both quality horses and they're both proving themselves, so we'll see. And good luck on Friday night with uh, the brilliant Cot Beats, Christy. Thank you, thank you very much, thanks.